Hello people, I am Man Page, and welcome back to my 2000 subscriber special. This is a part 2. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, click the link in the description below. Anyway, now that we got formalities out of the way, it's time for the moment that I know some of you have been waiting for. The correct answers to the question. If you haven't watched part 1, to put it simply, I revealed eight facts about myself, four of which were true, four of which were total dog shit. <laughs> so I made a challenge for people to guess which ones were true and which ones were not true. Some people answered in the comments, some people answered in their head. However you answered, I'm glad that you watched the video. And I'm glad that you care enough to celebrate 2,000 subscribers with me. But without further ado, let's reveal the answers. I never lost a game of Call of Duty. Never. <laughs> that is an outright lie, and anyone that knows me personally would agree. I am a total noob at Call of Duty, and a pathetic one at that. Like, the only time I ever got to play Call of Duty was with Xbox Live user Over5185. Um, he would play local matches so he could train me on all the aspects of the game. Firing, and running, and camping, and, um, kill streaks and crap like that. But he would always kick my ass in a landslide victory. Hell, sometimes he would add insult to injury by inviting my friend Cactus Chris over while we're both here for a free-for-all round. O'Reilly would win, yes, but Cactus Chris always finishes second. Always! It's like, no matter who I go against in Call of Duty, I always lose. It's like I'm the joke contestant. This channel is not mine. Someone else actually hired me to run this thing for them. <laughs> That's also a lie. Who do I look like? DJ <laughs> Nope, I'm all me. This is my channel. No one told me to make this channel. I made this channel specifically. I made a channel because I wanted to make this channel. I wanted to bring back the old Improbables videos to hold the people over while they were waiting for new Improbable content. And while I, and after I finished uploading them, I figured, hmm, what else can I do? I'll do some vlogs, and I'll add some more Improbable stuff. And my subscriber count doubled in about a month or two. And to this day, I'm proud of my channel. I love everything about it. I have high-functioning autism. Yes, that is true. I have... Uh, Asperger's Syndrome, um, I'm not really a very social person. Heck, staring into the camera right now is kind of making me a little uncomfortable, but I'm learning to get used to it. Like, you can tell I'm like this by the way that I always quote random facts or talk endlessly, seemingly, or if I meet you in person, I'm inclined to look away from you when I'm talking to you. It's just me being me. Nothing I can do about it. These are my glasses. I'm supposed to wear them, but I always forget. Um, I do have glasses, and I do keep forgetting to wear them. This is actually a truth. Uh, people, the one guy actually found, thought it was a lie. And asked me a question to his group line in the comments, like, if I keep getting to wear my glasses, why don't I wear contacts? That's, like, this is a big fuck up on my part, because I forgot to mention what the glasses were for. Um, like, see, these are my glasses, yes, but I don't need them to see. I need them for, like, seeing things, like, in the distance clearer, like, I am somewhat nearsighted. This helps me look at, like, signs that are so far away from... They're so far away I can't see them because they're so blurry. The reason I keep forgetting to wear them is because I don't always need them. I'll wear them if necessary, and sometimes if I have to wear them for a certain occasion, I'll, like, keep them on for extended periods of time to try and get used to it. The hard part is trying not to throw up. I'm actually a woman. <laughs> that is false, and I'm sorry if anyone believed that. I didn't want to... I can't believe anyone believed that. That's, I don't know how anyone would manage to believe that. But I'm sorry if I 
almost offended any of the transgender, transsexual, all them other types out there. I didn't think that would be believable. I thought that would be the one that people would outright say is a lie and move on. Didn't think you would ask questions. I never finished high school. People don't believe this, but yes, I did drop out of high school. Um, I was in high school, right, up until uh, I finished 10th grade. Um, see, I was, st I'm still living with my, I was living with my parents back then, and I still am today. Like, when I finished 9th grade, like, things were kind of hard, but then again, some good things happened. I was, I made it to drama club, and I had an English teacher that I really liked, and the principal knew that I had Asperger's and knew how difficult it was to struggle with it, and they all put it, put in their best efforts to help me out when I needed it, and by the time the year was over, I was crying a little bit because of some bad things that happened, but ultimately my parents told me to stick it out and continue forward because, like, I knew that I was having good experiences. Um... 10th grade, I lost my favorite principal, and then the principal I didn't like from middle school came back. I lost my favorite teacher, and I got a teacher that doesn't give a shit about my problems. It doesn't give a shit about anything to do with me, really. Even if I had to pee, she'd rather I piss myself. Uh, um, what else? Uh, more people teased every little thing I did. I lost my girlfriend back then, and um, one of my favorite activities that I used to do, playing basketball, at, playing basketball after lunch, was taken away. Drama club never happened again. It's all a big pile of suckage. And by the time I finished, I was left a broken down, shattered mess of a person. And my mom and dad were like, okay, that's enough. We're getting you out of there. So, they transferred me to online school for two years. Um, I could never get used to the format, especially considering that at the time I had to go to my own doctor's appointments and my mom's doctor's appointments because I always travel with her. And I could never keep up with my classes. So, after two years of that, I eventually considered my, I, I eventually convinced my mom that YouTube was going to be a thing that I could work hard, put effort into, and keep trying my best every single little time I make a video. And eventually I would get enough attention for people, and eventually I would get enough support that I could actually make this a career with enough practice and, and subscribers and effort. So I dropped out altogether. I'm 20 years old and I still haven't finished high school. I know, I know, go ahead, laugh, laugh, laugh at me. I get it. Next. Number seven, I'm not even going to say because I know it's a lie. You know it's a lie. Everyone knows it's a lie. I don't even think I have to explain it. <coughs> so let's skip to number eight. Out of all the videos I made before the whole Impossible Classic thing started, half of them I regret deeply and sadly. It's like a stain on my soul that I'll never get cleaned. See... Before I made Improbables Classic, I had three channels. GHR and Trump 3000, which is where this channel is now, but back then it was a totally different channel. A channel with my name on it, and Rockbot 3000. Like, GHR and Trump 3000 was a channel I made back when I was 13, and I used it to make videos of a text-to-speech voice, namely Microsoft Sam, reading error message, reading Windows error messages and reacting to them. I bet at least some people, were, I'm pretty sure some people remember back when they were kids, they would stumble upon random videos of text-to-speech voices reading error messages, reacting to them with all the swear words, and they kind of just busting the gut laughing because it's so funny. Yeah, that was, I was one of those people back then. But after I made it to high school, I felt so oh, out of touch with my muse that I just stopped creating. I lost my will to create, and then I eventually stopped. Um, years later, I made Rockbot 3000 as a Let's Play channel. 
no one really cared about what I did, and, like, I would still try to upload there every so often with gaming content, but, I still do that to this day, but it's not like it matters because no one really cares about gaming as much, unless you have some funny to go with it. Uh, at least now that I'm doing Let's Plays now, I know how to do them correctly, so maybe I can make Let's Plays here, as I've been doing, because they are technically reactions. So, at least now I know how to do them correctly. What I regret the most is the channel I made in between. The channel with my name on it. And the picture of Crash Bandicoot. Um, see, back then, I was following a fake senpai, and I thought reviews were the way to go. This guy who calls himself Those Dudes with a Hat, also known as the Review Reviewer, had a show where he would critic, critique other critics online. Like, if you reviewed it, if you reviewed something, and he wants to review you, he's going to review you. I don't know why, he just wants to. Uh, so I figured I'd take a crack at it myself. Like, take some, episode, take some um, episodes of reviews that I've seen already and review them. Uh, my first few were a big pile of fail because it was done so amateurly. And the rest of them were just... And, and the rest of them, while they were well put together, they were so boring, no one really cares. The straw that broke the camel's back was when I watched this group of people called A Bunch of Pseudo-Intellectuals. They reviewed my first review, and they said I was a big old pile of suck. Not exactly their words, but I knew what they were getting at. I didn't even sit through half of the review. I had to have my buddy Captain Chris watch the first half for me. And he was laughing all the way at all the crap that they had pointed out that I sucked at. And I don't know whether to laugh myself because I was a big old pile of suck or be heartbroken that people would laugh at me being a big old pile of suck. Uh, so it was then I learned the past is in the past. And that's all I'm going to do about it. Like, I'm done with that channel. No more reviews. No more, more retrospectives. No more making dumb characters with capes. It's just me, my content, my loyal fan base. And the Improbables. Can't forget the Improbables. The Improbables are awesome. They're the reason this channel exists. And I would be nothing without them. So thank you for 2,000 subscribers. And... Let's try and get the Improbables to 2,000 subscribers because I noticed they haven't reached 2,000 yet. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye! さて、どうなったと思いますか俺はもうどっちかに聞いています。俺は復讐を持つことになりますよ。<笑>